Well, good day, folks, from myself and the mullet van. Uh, I have just arrived about an hour ago into Cockermouth in Cumbria, beautiful part of the world. I was in the Isle of Man last night in Laxey. I had a wonderful concert there, really packed house, and saw some really wonderful old friends and musicians. Uh, people I'm huge fans of, people like you know, Jamie Smith from Mabon was there with his son, who's a really upcoming fiddle player. And uh, Malcolm Stitt, of course, from Boys of the Lock and Def Shepherd was there. Malcolm, I tried to get Jamie up, but Jamie didn't have the box. He's, he's on holiday. Uh, and Malcolm, but Malcolm came up, came up and did a song. And we had, we had a really wonderful time. And yeah, a wonderful night last night at the Institute in Laxey and huge thanks to John for all his hard work and him and Shirley, his wife, for. Uh, for putting up with me and taking me for food and showing me the laxi wheel and, and all that stuff. It was wonderful. Great community there in, in Manx, in the Isle of Man. And also to, to uh, Ken on the sound, he did a wonderful job. Anyway, I'm doing this video just because so many people have asked me, you know, what it's, what's it like traveling, touring on your own? So anyway, uh, I'm off to Ireland next week with Gino and Dermot again. But uh, I thought I'd just let you know. So yeah, tonight I'm playing a lovely venue, which is just over there, which I'll show you a bit later on, called the Kirkgate Centre. It's a fabulous venue. I've played it a couple of times. Uh, uh, I think I first played it many, many years ago with Brendan Power when we used to tour as a duo. I've done it twice solo since. Um, ticket sales are looking okay. It's hard these days. Uh, I mean, I'm a musician. I'm, I'm lucky I've got a... Yeah, I would say a you know reasonable profile in in the folk world. You know, I've won BBC Musician of the Year, BBC Radio Two in 2012, Best Musician, and I won Best Duo with Brendan Power 2012. And in 2021 or 2020, I can't remember, I won Best Musician BBC Scotland. So you know, I've 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 good you know credentials if you want to be egotistical, <laughs> but it's still not easy. I mean, for example, to try and promote the concert tonight. Uh, numerous emails you know contacts we do our own PR because you know most musicians like myself can't afford to be paying for PR you know we don't have record labels we have our own labels so myself and my agent and manager Damien uh, have been doing the PR for this and Damien's fantastic he's, he's, he's an absolute godsend but even with Damien's help it's and my own contacts it's hard I mean BBC Cumbria don't even, you know, no reply to, to emails um, for whatever reason. I'm sure they get hundreds, you know, but even with the BBC connections and the, you know, musician of the year, it's still not easy. Um, but in, in credit to BBC Cumbria, you know, they, 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 they have featured me before. So, you know, you can't expect it every, every year. But uh, I'll give you a little update uh, uh, before the gig and show you the stage set up and stuff. But I thought I'd just give you a life on the road with Tim, Edie and Mullet. Mullet is actually in great form. My neighbor, Dave Murphy from Blackpool is the most incredible mechanic. And he really helps to keep this van on the road as does my other mechanic, Ian. Uh, they don't, she doesn't, Mullet doesn't need that much uh, fixing to be honest. It's more little things like um, the odd bearing or the odd oil seal and body work, you know, but what would you expect for a 26 year old van? Anyway, over and out for now and talk to you later on at the gig. Welcome to my dressing room here at the Kirkgate Arts and Heritage Centre in Cockermouth in Cumbria. We've got a bit of time to a show time, about an hour. Uh, and uh, I've got a really lovely uh, local lad who's actually usually the, well, he, he's a fantastic uh, audio engineer, but he's also an amazing musician. Uh, so Owen is going to open up tonight's gig and uh, I'm really excited about that. He's, he's an up and coming Cumbrian folk star, I think. Uh, so a few little things, um, little guide you through what some of us musicians tend to do before a gig. My trusty Yamaha NCX900R. I've played this guitar f since JP Cormier gave it to me in Cape Breton. Um, God, it must be 15 years ago. Uh, my Takamine, I used to play a Takamine for many, many years. Steve Cooney put me onto the tax and Steve always played one and in fact still does. I, I, I sourced him a, a couple over the years and, and um, you can't really get them anywhere 
but the old ones, it's very, they're very hard to find. So I, I sort of scour the country and I get them over to Steve in Ireland in, in Donegal. Uh, but the Yamaha, you know, they're, they're, they're like the tack, they're a great road guitar there. Um, this one's <laughs> slightly battered at the moment and, and it's got a little bit of a, 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 an issue with the truss rod, which you can hear the rattle. I need to get it down to Andy Crockett uh, fast. Or, or another amazing guy I use up in, in, in Perthshire, Xander, up at Perthshire Guitars. One of those, one of those maestros will, will get it fixed. Um, so I'm trying out quite a few different new things in, 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 in my solo gigs. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'll try and post a couple of clips from the gig. But um, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's so really everyone's different before a gig. Everyone has different sort of rituals, but I just, I'm really excited to be here. I love this venue, I really do. And I think we've got a nice, nice audience tonight. It's a really intimate theater, this, this, this beautiful art center. <laughs> Thank you. 